cold. It's that squeaky snow. It was one degree this morning. So. I'm off. I just got home as a matter of fact, but I'm off again. Let's see if the truck will start. Yeah, it started. I gotta go pick up Capone. He had to go back to the vet again. So this is after Christmas. Well, we had him at the vet before Christmas and we had to take him back because all over the uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, he wouldn't eat. And uh, he just was kind of hiding behind the couch and not doing very good. So uh, the day after Christmas, yesterday, I called the vet and they said, bring him right back up. So they've been medicating him and uh, took care of him, I guess. They said, I can come pick him up. He should be doing okay now. They had to give him a bunch of laxatives and uh, get him flushed out. He was pretty plugged up. That was the bottom line. The cat was pretty plugged up. So I'm off to get him. It's late afternoon now. Spent all day uh, well, let's put it this way. We got up this morning at 5.15 a.m., got ourselves ready to roll, and hit the road about 6.30 to Cleveland. And we took uh, V's Nissan Rogue, and uh, it's about an hour drive. Well, about halfway there, we run into that lake effect snow. Here in northern Ohio, uh, when it's cold like this and you live anywhere near the lake you get lake effect snow the wind blows off the lake and it snows and uh, so we're driving into the snow and of course then you get salt spray on your windshield so my windshield is turning white with with salt so hey no problem hit the windshield washer fluid uh, it was one degree the windshield washer stuff was frozen it wouldn't squirt so when the windshield wipers went on, it turned the windshield, I mean, it was like somebody whitewashed it, like painted it white. I couldn't see. I was behind a semi, so I was able to just kind of like look, and, and I could see the taillights of the semi. It was a lot of traffic, so I didn't want to like change lanes abruptly or anything. I just turned the windshield wipers on high as fast as they would go, and eventually they kind of like dry scraped the salt off the windshield. But that was a little bit of a panic moment there. Uh, not good. Not good at all. So we had to go up to Cleveland Clinic again. V had to get some more fluids. Uh, she always feels better after she gets the fluids. So she was laid up for almost two hours getting fluids. And we had to get more, uh, she had to get more blood. Uh, we, or, we, or she had to get x-rays. So, uh, and blood so it was a long day so here it is almost going on four o'clock we just got home I dropped her off now I'm running to go pick up Capone and see how that little bugger is doing there look who I got there who's peeking out at me it's Capone he's gonna be back home in a minute we'll get you back home buddy we'll get you back home hang tight stay cool <laughs> he looks healthy he looks happy Well, there he is, Capone. He's home. Hey, Pone, are you hungry? 
Oh, he's meowing. He's talking. You're gonna see if you're gonna eat something. We got him to eat, huh? He hasn't eaten since way before Christmas, so <clears throat> the vet must have done something right. Well, he gave him a shot of steroids <clears throat> and a B12 shot, which always ramps up their appetite and their drinking, too. Steroids are like prednisone that we take. You know how they make you hungry? So the vet sent me home with this stuff. <clears throat> it's called lactulose. And I have to give him one of these eyedroppers twice a day, orally. So that means you catch the cat, you hold him, or V holds him, you know, pry his little mouth open, squirt it in there before he runs away. And he won't like it very much, but that's what we got to do. Now, we brought him back from the vet, and... Uh, <clears throat> The vet did some minor, minor trimming around his, you know, hind end. And the vet said, you may want to trim up some of that hair around his hind end there because he's going to have the, a mess uh, when he has to use the litter box because we've loosened him up really good. <clears throat> so we picked him up and turned him over and took a look and sure enough, it was a mess already and it smelled horrible it smelled horrible horrible like barn. <clears throat> i mean i i'm i don't have to try to tell you what cat poop smells like but it was it was that and more and it was all stuck in his hair wet and everything so we took him in the shower and we took the the shower sprayer and we sprayed his bottom all off Ugh. it's disgusting <laughs> for me to talk about <laughs> put a towel out on the counter and then I have a pair of like of little uh, electric mustache clippers uh, shavers like and I was able to shave the cats yeah got all the hair off around there V's laughing her butt off because I'm over there absolutely about ready to barf I'm just like wah, 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 trying to <laughs> shave this hair around his uh, hind legs and everything so I think we managed to get him all trimmed up now and uh, we'll see how this venture goes and what was the first for you shaving the cat you said to me whoever thought I'd be shaving a cat's nuts <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to, you know, get right down there around the poor little guy's junk, so I had to be really careful. So I'll show you, I got this, uh, this is what I use, these little pair of clippers. And there, it, it's got like a razor on it. I never use that, uh, but I do use this. I take that off. And it's just like a little, uh, little hair clipper for a mustache, though. And there's a button on the back you push. And it works really well for, you know, pet grooming. So we usually use that for taking hair mats off. These, these long-haired cats get these big hair mats on them. And uh, the kitty's skin is very, very thin. So you have to be really careful when you're cutting the cat's hair close to their skin. So these things come in really handy because you can do like little close intricate work and get that uh, that big matted fur off of them uh, without hurting them, without cutting their skin. Yeah, he's got to lick himself up there. His little hind end's pretty raw from this adventure.